Welcome to the Columbus Symphony's 2020 Gala, Reimagined, the symphony's first ever virtual gala. I'm Angela Pace, and I am so excited to spend time with you as we support the orchestra from home this year. We hope you share the beauty and the inspiration of this video with all your loved ones who are safely social distancing at home. May I say that you all look fantastic. Cindy Hilsheimer, I see you out there. You have never looked better. This year, we celebrate our symphony like never before with a special lineup of performances from Tony Desaire and our very own Columbus Symphony musicians. During times like these, music has the power to, to unite, to transform, to educate, to calm, and to bring joy into our lives. I know that music is definitely getting me through this madness, everything from Chopin to the Shy Lights, from Bach to the Bar Caves, from Litz to Lizzo. Even through the past months of distancing at home, the symphony has been active in the community, finding innovative ways to continue to serve our community through great music. Rawson and our musicians have been hard at work creating videos through a Columbus Symphony at Home series so that you can continue to enjoy the orchestra from the comfort of your couch. Small ensembles have been playing outdoors at socially distanced performances in places like senior living and retirement facilities all across Central Ohio. And new programs to serve our babies, more children than ever, have ramped up our ability to educate and inspire thousands of children across Columbus when they need it most this coming school year. Ladies and gentlemen, we need music. We need the arts now more than ever. And your support this week helps to ensure that the symphony has a vibrant future and that we'll emerge from these troubling times with even more beauty and more opportunities. Okay, let's get this party started. Our first performance is from a guest artist from the 2019 2020 Pops season, Tony Desaire. Now, Tony is a triple threat. He's a singer, he's a pianist, he's a songwriter who made Valentine's Day so much more special by bringing us the legendary songs of Old Blue Eyes, Frank Sinatra. Enjoy. Well, hi there. This is Tony Desaire. You may remember me from a few months ago, although it seems like a lifetime ago, I think, to all of us. I was on stage with your wonderful Columbus Symphony with Stuart Chaffetz conducting Valentine's Day. And I had a wonderful time and really wonderful musicians and audiences. I can't wait to go back. But obviously since then, life has changed for just about everyone, especially musicians. I myself have been making music in my basement here by myself for the last five months. But sharing my music through a camera and an iPhone screen or iPad screen every day, and it's, it's different, but it, it's still, is satisfying and I'm so lucky that I get to do it and also so honored that the Columbus Symphony asked me to be part of their reimagined gala this year. So as far as a song, I thought a good song would be this depression era song called Wrap Your Troubles and Dreams. It just has such a great message and this whole time has reminded me of the power of these great songs written during times of great turmoil, you know, the Great Depression and World War II. That's the music that I love the most. So this is one of those songs. I hope you enjoy it. Here is Wrap Your Troubles in Dreams. When skies are cloudy and gray, they're only gray for a day. Just wrap your troubles in dreams. And dream all your troubles away Until that sunshine peeks through There's only one thing to do Just wrap your troubles in dreams And dream all your troubles away Your castles may crumble, it's fate after all Life's really funny that way No use to grumble, smile as they fall Weren't you king for a day? Just remember that sunshine Always follows the rain So wrap your troubles in dreams And dream all your troubles away
castles may crumble, it's fate after all Life's really funny that way No use to grumble, smile as they fall Weren't you king for a day? Until that sunshine peeps through There's only one thing to do Just wrap your troubles in dreams And dream, dream all your troubles away All your troubles away All your troubles away Hello to the patrons and supporters of the Columbus Symphony who are with us right now watching this year's Symphony Gala Reimagined. I'm Lisa Barton, chair of the Columbus Symphony Board of Trustees. Although we are not able to gather in person for this year's event, and the symphony has been unable to gather for performances as planned since March, we have been applying even more effort to finding new ways to be meaningful and impactful for our community. This past January, the Board of Trustees unanimously passed a new strategic plan that focuses on being an organization that makes a difference as we fulfill our mission of inspiring and building a strong community through music. While the pandemic has posed significant challenges for the symphony, it has also accelerated our work in meeting the objectives of our strategic plan. We embrace our heightened role in the community, and this week, your support of the gala will make a lasting impact on our future and our ability to serve more residents in Central Ohio than ever before. The symphony is committed to equity and access of musical opportunities for our young musicians. I'm so excited about the incredible work and the progress we have made to ensure opportunities are made available to all residents in the community. Through important partnerships, this year we will expand our work with Urban Strings to provide free mentorship opportunities for aspiring musicians. We will also provide music curriculum in Columbus City Schools at no charge for music education that will impact every third grade student in the district. Additionally, our Mindful Music Moments program, which plays four minutes of classical music with relaxation prompts at the start of every school day during morning announcements, has been expanded from being in seven schools to 25 schools and will now be available in all preschools throughout Central Ohio. This program offers music appreciation and stress reduction techniques, an important opportunity for our students who are facing the difficult realities brought on by our changing world and the pandemic. I am so proud of our musical impact on the community. Thank you to all of our sponsors, honorary committee members, and to everyone tuning in to this year's event. Lisa, thank you so much for your leadership and your commitment to the Columbus Symphony. The symphony is now in its 69th year, 69th, and it is more committed than ever to being an integral and inspiring asset to the people of Central Ohio. There are so many stories of how symphonies have made a difference in their communities. This is especially true in times of pain and trouble. That's when the power of music puts forth its strongest message of hope and unity. And now let's hear from our music director, Rosalyn Milanoff, who joins us from his home in Spain. Hello, and thank you for joining us. I couldn't be more excited to celebrate with you from across the globe as I quarantine in my home in Spain. I know many of you are watching this year's virtual gala from your homes in places near and far. What a wonderful demonstration that music is truly uniting. The Columbus Symphony has been on an incredible artistic trajectory and musical journey just before the pandemic has changed our world. These past few months, you have shown a brighter, bolder, and stronger spirit than ever before. Your support and love for our orchestra has shown through these difficult times, and for that, I am immensely grateful. No one could have imagined the disruption and change we have experienced, but it has also been a catalyst to find new and meaningful ways to reach even more people in central Ohio 
through the beauty of music. Our education programs are shaping up to be more robust and wide-reaching than ever before. Our efforts to provide opportunities for our underserved populations to experience and to be inspired by the music is an important artistic and institutional goal. We're grateful to be able to provide the healing and uniting power of music to Columbus at the time when many are feeling isolated and divided. There is no challenge great enough to silence our music. I am so inspired by your dedication to the symphony and the irreducible truth that music is critical for building stronger, empathic, and diverse communities. Thank you for sticking with us and for celebrating this year's gala that will enable us to have a strong future together. Your support means so much to me. Our 2020 season is taking shape in a different form, but we are committed to be there for you and to create new musical memories together once again. In May of 2021, the orchestra will perform alongside the superstar American soprano, Renee Fleming, who joins us now with a few words to share. Hi. It's Renee Fleming. I just wanted to give a shout out to my friends in Columbus and say how much I'm looking forward to being there next May to perform with the Columbus Symphony. It will be fantastic to sing with music director Rosson Milanoff, who I met in Philadelphia when I recorded there a few years back. And it's been almost 15 years since I sang with the great Columbus Symphony. So until I see you next spring, please keep well and keep the music playing. Ooh, Renee Fleming, American diva. And believe me, I know a diva when I see one. Can't wait to see her perform at the May concert next year when she sings for us, backed by the one and only Columbus Symphony Orchestra. Next up, we have a special performance from our CSO musicians performing two very inspiring selections. These two pieces sparkle and glitter with virtuosity, just like our very own concert master, Joanna Frankel, who shines in a solo performance. Enjoy. Hello, my name is Joanna Frankel, and I am the concert master of your Columbus Symphony. We are so grateful for the generous support that you have offered us over the years, but especially now during this surreal and crazy time of the pandemic. So to express our gratitude, we would love to offer you as part of the gala two really amazing works. First, the Vinyalski Scherzo Tarantel, which is for solo violin and chamber orchestra. It is evocative of a scary tarantula running around and also of a person bitten by this tarantula who is fighting for dear life. Thank you. 
is a beautiful salon piece called Estrelita, My Little Star. It's by Ponce, and it is arranged for solo violin and chamber orchestra by Heifetz. We really hope that you enjoy these wonderful pieces as much as we have enjoyed playing for you. And we cannot wait to see you again very soon in person. Please enjoy. Wow, what a performance. I love seeing our musicians performing together on stage while our theaters have been closed. Now I know that we can't wait to get back into those beautiful historic buildings to be entertained once again. 
You know, the Columbus Symphony doesn't just perform for us grown-ups. Oh, no. This symphony brings music to life for our children, making a difference for our young musicians who may someday become members of this orchestra and leaders of our community. It gives me great pleasure to introduce a special young musician. Alexis Cunningham is a sophomore at Columbus Academy. She is a member of both the Columbus Symphony Youth Orchestra and Urban Strings Columbus. Alexis is a bright student, a dedicated musician with a promising future, a shining example of the difference music can make in the lives of young people. Just more proof of how youth orchestras can ensure that our children grow up confident and empowered to express themselves through music. Ladies and gentlemen, I present Alexis Cunningham. Hi, my name is Alexis Cunningham. I'm a rising sophomore at Columbus Academy, and I play viola and bass at Urban Strings Columbus and CSYO. What inspired me to play music was when I began playing piano at three years old. Uh, I was put into a music class, and from there I went into my orchestra at school, and it was in third grade, and I had the chance to pick whichever instrument I wanted, and I chose to play the viola, and from there I flourished as I entered into Urban Strengths Columbus and CSYO, as well as doing my orchestra at school. So as far as my experiences in both of these orchestras, it has been amazing due to the fact that they are completely different, but at the same time have the same aspirations and goals, specifically playing the different music. CSYO has taught me how to be more virtuosic in my playing, as well as playing different classical pieces and being able to really experience the more technical and historical side of playing. Urban Strings has given me a new field of study because it shows me how to play in jazz and hip hop, pop, R&B, and all the other different genres that would not normally be played on a string instrument. I think personally the goals of both orchestra are similar because they really want to push the children to be as good as they possibly can be. And I have felt that in my journey in both. My future aspirations are to go into music education. Um, I would love to teach children how to play because I play five different instruments. So it, it would be very nice to show them how to equally reach their same goals and aspirations, showing them that it is very possible to open yourself to a new broader length of music. Uh, I would really love to play in a professional orchestra when I grow up and then at the same time, I wanna go into a chemistry field and be able to do all of this at the same time. Folks, it is your continued support that allows the Columbus Symphony to continue serving all members of our community from every zip code, every walk of life, every age, like Alexis. Your symphony will be here for you and the entire community. The next couple of years will be challenging, but not impossible. You can make a difference now by supporting this year's gala through the online auction. Now this auction includes a silent auction, a super silent auction, a double secret probation auction, and a mission-based auction. Every dollar ensures that the orchestra and the musicians will step into a brighter future and that all of us will power through these times together as a community. So, Let's do this. You can start bidding in the online auction from now until the closing on Saturday, August 22nd at 9 p.m. Plenty of time to go online shopping. So get out that plastic, Monty Marbley, I see you out there. Just go to cso.cbo.io. For more information, visit the Symphony website at columbussymphony.com. This year, we have a special opportunity for those who pledge their support at $5,000 or more. In May of next year, the symphony will stage a special concert with Renee Fleming. A limited number of tickets will be available for a private reception with Renee. The first 15 donors to pledge their support of $5,000 or more will receive two premium tickets to the Renee Fleming concert and two tickets to a post-concert meet and greet with Renee, and that comes with a photo op by a professional photographer with a camera that is not also a phone. The Columbus Symphony is committed to meeting the needs of all children from every background, every neighborhood in the community, especially our most underserved populations, to serve as a musical resource, especially through the sweeping changes in local school districts due to COVID-19. 
Now, your role as a hero is endless. You can be a music education hero with a gift of $10,000 that supports free music curriculum in Columbus City Schools and other local school districts. The symphony also will provide opportunities of equity and access to underrepresented young people in our community through mentoring and scholarships in Urban Strings Columbus and the tuition-free Columbus Symphony All-City Orchestra. Learning from home is more important than ever, and as a hero, your gift supports new interactive symphony websites called The Kids' Corner and Symphonic Teams. Now, these programs are at no cost to our community partners to ensure all of our kids are taken care of. Rest assured, no gift is too small. Every dollar makes a difference in all that the symphony does to provide meaningful services to our community. $5 pays for a child to attend a young person's concert and to experience the symphony for the first time. Those concerts are so much fun. Your gift means so much, and we are grateful for your generosity at any level. If you are able to give, go to the online auction and help us to continue making this symphony a jewel and a force in our community. Thank you so much for joining us all week long for the 2020 Symphony Gala. Great party, virtually speaking. Don't you agree, Dr. Steve Markovich out there? Thank you for always keeping the CSO in your mind and in your heart. And remember, you have time to donate anytime before Saturday, August 22nd at 9 p.m. That's 9 p.m. by visiting columbussymphony.com. Your belief in the importance of music in our everyday lives will get us through this tough time. It really will. You know that music can inspire. It can uplift. You've heard the stories of how music can convey hope, goodwill, beauty, and perhaps most importantly, a sense of unity and community. To everyone watching, I have one more important job for you. It is time for you to pour yourself a glass of champagne. I got one right here. Sit back, browse the auction, and enjoy. Huh, interesting. Not as full as I'd like for it to be, but uh, Bob Boyd Lincoln, thank you so much for this. I bet they had something to do with it anyway. Hopefully this is Veuve Clicquot. Let us toast to the bright future that we have together, and we can't wait to see you once again in the concert hall. Cheers, and stay safe.